Man, then again, Batman could beat anyone. Hey guys! And, and theoretic, because Batman always wins, but... <laughs> Welcome back to Death Kings of the Dark Citadel, and I got something a bit heavy for you guys, Be and well, some of you guys may have already noticed this, but this is about four of our series. Somehow, Bandicam reset my settings completely, and I didn't realize it until this morning. Or yesterday morning, because this will be going out tomorrow morning. And basically, it reset my audio settings to default, which for some reason for that is nothing. And it dis and it set my mic to disabled, so there was no sound in this, uh, and the and Sonic 2, and Cross on Cuts Be Dear. So I apologize for that, guys. But we will be redoing basically what was done in those videos, and you guys should be to hear hear it. You guys will be to hear everything now. Yeah. If I can actually speak English. That's. I still can't believe that happened. Though that shit sucks, man. Uh, okay. Luckily, I remember what to do here. Though I don't like it very much. Uh, because one thing- oh sweet Jesus. One thing I remember, somebody uh, left me a comment in a video. Uh, to watch it for the water, because the water teleports other uh, enemies around, as you guys just seen, we got telefragged. What the hell. And apparently there's also a secret level in here, because this is technically a hub level. And just like, um, just like the hub levels in Beyond Hair Tech, like, Seven Portals, um, uh, what is it, Shadowwood, and even Acropolis. There's a secret level in here, which I don't think I remember. I, I don't remember what it's called, I don't remember how to access it, I don't even remember if I even known about there being a secret level right here in the first place. And there's something I forgot to do, uh, not, not the last recording, but the previous recording that we did, the one before that. Is that in order to get upstairs where those portals are, you have to go around and smash all of the glass. And I'm gonna do something here. Don't worry, guys, we will get more of these. I'm gonna regret this decision. Run! Yeah, I'm gonna release everybody and just create one hell of a giant marsh pit. Yeah, and get myself killed. You know what? I'll use one of these. Sorry for that voice card. Use one of these. Jesus. Yeah, just press your face against the door. Out of the way, bozos. Out of the way, you green skinny idiots. Move it. That's racist. Ah. Because there's doors here at the end of the hall. Yep. Horrible idea. Okay, I forgot to switch back to Quartz Flask. Guys, feel free to call me a moron. Let me need it anyway, and I acknowledge it, damn it. Yeah, I already know I am an idiot. What the hell? We just whacked the door with a with a club and and aggroes everybody. Out of the way, dumbass! Oh, cripes! Everybody! Be careful when you do that when the slaughter's around because they can reflect the glow uh, the goes back at you. Ow! When they're defending themselves, but they can reflect any uh, projectile back at you, so be careful. 
now? What the shit? Please be Jesus. Can you not freaking do that? Yes, it won't die for the flat. God damn it. Well, shit just hit the fan real fast. Holy crap. Out of the way. And, yeah, we're completely still there. Whoa, we're gonna cover fireball. <laughs> Some amulet in here. I think these items like the helmet, the shield, as well as the chest plate, I'll increase our, I'll increase our AC, whatever the hell that is. I think that might be like some form of defense. Don't quote me on that, because I never actually know what the purpose of that was. Okay, that's it. That's it. I'm going to like a bat out of hell and everyone is going to die. I'll have right back. I don't give a damn anymore. Out of the way, you moron. What? <laughs> you can't see that server just got telephrased. Just screw you, dude. Out of the way, lame ass. Out of the way, you bumbling idiot. Yeah, just run right into It's. It looked like you just like ran right to the window and broke it. Got me. Did you get the hell? Okay. Oh, crap. I guess it's gonna be insane for me doing this, but I'm having a little bit of fun. God, this is chaos. Would you move it? Oh, for sakes. Yes, move it. Oh, Jesus. We're gonna die. <laughs> okay, the fenders just wore off. Um, okay, okay. Oh wait. Oh wait. Okay. Is that it? Looks like it. Now. I hope this doesn't rip your guys' ears. Oh, that was insane. Whoa! It's all gone quiet now. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my lord. Oh my god, that was insane. Guys, don't do that. <laughs> oh my god. God. Wow, that was just... That was just wow. <laughs> that was just wow. I, what the hell? That's the first time I ever did that. And for it to be... And for it being completely off the wall and utterly insane... It was fun. <laughs> Just sending, like, just releasing everybody and just, just murdering them all at once. Wow, we're actually full on quest flasks and uh, mana. You guys see these switches? This is what breaking all of the. Uh, Wish you was good. So sure. Alright, I'm here. Oh, sorry this, about that. It's alright, man. There's a stairwell that's supposed to open here. Alright, I'll show you. What the hell? Go to hell. Right, I'll answer, please. Thank you. It just. A stairwell's supposed to open here, but as you guys see, 
If you guys remember our playthrough of Beyond Hair Tech, there's this little plaque behind the exit door before it reached into the you mind. Before we reach uh, Dark Crucible. Well, instead of one missing all three items, there's, all, there's three It's missing one. So there's one here missing the um, Blood Scourge weapon here. The one in the middle over here that's missing the Holy Relic. And this one over here. Okay, we need to press the switches again. Okay. Well. This one over here is missing the glaive seal. And I managed to remember... Two of the, uh... Miniature... Weapons? Not three of them. Oh, so there is four switches. Okay. Yeah, I believe one opens a door and the other one activates the stairs. Let's head up. Okay, now. There's four portals here. And one... Well, there's two things going on here. And I'll show you guys here in a second. As you guys see, the uh, clock gears make a return. But down over, where is it? I believe it's over here, down this way. Yeah, it's down this way. The books make a return. And for any of you guys who's playing this game or Beyond Hair Tech, I do have a little bit of a um, a, a little bit of a uh, tip for you. For you guys who want to a clear. Or an easy uh, indication on what bookshelf to place the missing books in. It's one thing to look out for, and you guys probably see it right there now. You guys see that skull? Watch. I can't remember if it's the same case in Beyond Hair Tech, but because it's been a while. This one here, as you guys see, is different than the rest. It's not only is this missing the old book. But there's also different things on it. Because the uh, there's a skull here. There's like come some kind of like small pedestal thing. And there's two claw bookends here. And it's just the same as this one. But the other ones here, as you guys see, it's just books, just random books. So if you guys, like, um, need any help on finding the bookies where you place the books, hope that helps. Now, some of these bookcases do open, but they only have a Afrit in them and a Quest Flask. And since we're already full, it's a bit pointless. Hi, Eren. Let's go back in here and get some of the, uh... Here we go. Ed, Ed, and Eddie. Because the places that we're going... They're rather unforgiving. <laughs> to say the least. Okay, let's head down this way. Eden's just warping around all over the place. Thank God we weren't at the receiving end of that. Let's head into this one first. Let's see what this one is. Cloaca. Another shit level. Oh, wait. As you guys see, there's one of the books. There's the e-book. And there's... There's four portals in here and six items. So that means there's two portals here that have... A book in a book each into them, while all four has a different clock gear. Boy, please. Uh, 
heard of this being a. I heard of shitty situations, but this is taking the piss. It's a bit of a play on words there for you because we're in a sewer. Or a bit of a dumb joke. And this is honestly like a bit disgusting, like knowing that you're just waddle waddling around in like green water that has like actual like visible floating, tur floating turds in it. Art. Art. There's a sewer level in like every video game ever, though. You kind of have to have one. Not in Sonic. There has to have been. Nope. There's a bajillion Sonic games, one of them had to have had one. Nope. Because Mario, well, any, I mean, the plumbers. Because Mario Brothers in and of itself, the entire game, the original Mario Brothers, is a sewer level. Because there are water levels in Sonic, but there are none that particularly take place in the sewer. That's crazy to me. And the clock you in here is there goes right there, speak of the devil. How the hell did we do what? When we just R. R. First level of Sonic Spinball. That's a cave. It's I'd a sewer. That's a cave. I had to think about that for a second. Okay, I'll let you... I oh, wait, 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 wait. I forget what it's called. But it is a cave. Okay, so we got the clock here in here. I think... Um... The same thing applies here as it did in Beyond Hair Tech. As in, you do something in one level and another level gets... Uh, and something happens in another level. <coughs> oh, here we go. Here we go. An area in Sonic Adventure and Casinoopolis called the Lapidated Way is a sewer. I told you I'd find one. I... wait. Okay, I think I might remember that place. So it's been ages since I played us uh, venture. See, I thought I'd find one. Zelda had them too, cause um... Twilight Princess, there's a sewer section. I think in Ocarina and a bunch of the other it's games as well. How Link to the Past, you get you fucking escape through the castle through the sewers. Now, one thing I think I managed to figure out is that whatever portal we go through on one side, when we go through the ending portal of that area, we end up in the area of the corresponding portal. So where we went through the left one, closest, I believe closest to the, or furthest from the entry door, we're now in the corresponding portal of the right back. side, furthest of the entry door. I'll be right back. Uh, go on without me. <clears throat> I'm coming. Thank you. Kind of bizarre how that water turns a lot of it. It's hexing, I suppose. There's no real, like, 
logic to be had here. Considering that we're fighting weird creatures in a world with a blood red sky. Die. Okay. Oh, yeah. You guys hear that noise? I'm gonna show you what's making that noise. It's these. For the life of me, for as long as I played Hexen, I never knew what made that noise. But it's the uh, little, uh, but it's the poisonous mushrooms. And these are the. These poisonous mushrooms, if you shoot them, or if you hit them somehow, they uh, they explode. And they create the uh, the same kind of poisonous gas that our fletchets do. Yeah, I think there's an un 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 way unwanted guest in here. This is more correctly. Uh, fletchets, please. Yep. Yeah, when we first did this, um, I wasn't expecting to find this to find this guy in here. Ow. Harris, you got you suck, dude. Oh cripes. Let me jump and get that. Oh god, out of the lava. Hi, please. Thank you. I'm trying to fill out a mana, damn it. Okay. And one thing I noticed if you have to. Whoops. If you have to use up your fletchets, it's not that bad. Especially in this section of this game, because they're pretty plentiful. Wow. Are you serious? <laughs> the same freaking thing. Or well, did something very similar to the uh, last video recorded? So I kept to jump out that window. <laughs> Gotcha! Not getting this this time. Oh wait. Thank you. Just be careful with these flushes because as you guys just seen, they can kill us. Okay, I'm not, I'm not gonna try to break these guys this time. So I would like to get that shield. Thank you. Yeah, this shield's um, a detection box is a little weird because even right, even right when you think you have it, you actually like literally like just above, like just just above the box, even though like you're literally like standing right in front of it. It's weird. Come on. Freakazoid. Freakazoid, yeah. Rob, it's Freakazoid. Not Freakazoid. What the frick? Rob and die! You evil cretin! Oh god, incoming, incoming! You are supposed to be dead! Last time I tried this, this, this guy is just like, I'm, I'm just gonna die. And it was the most easiest time he died. What the shit? He's almost dead. He's just summoning bishops now. Ah, what the shit? Great, he's dumbass. He's still alive in there. 
Yeah, last recording I did this, I just spread our fleshets all the way around him in a circle, and he just stood there and just died. Just suffocated. It's a good uh, second time. That'd be kind of nice. Game. <laughs> Whoa! Die! Oh shit. Wait, is that the death sound of the uh, What the shit? Oh shit. Move. Ow! Those things freak me out. <laughs> like legitimately. Bouncing flaming skulls? No thanks. Drop your shield. We'll do with you in a second. But I still don't know why killing him makes at like the first sound he makes is a corn a uh, your yeah, corn pop, yeah. There's a cork popping. Weird. Did you guys see there's a hole he made in the roof? What's this that cross? Watch this. Now we got this. And it does update and appear on the map as you pull the switches, which I find cool. So I'm gonna show you guys. Um it's up here. See? Now there's this one left. This one over here. Bye please. Thank you. And for some reason, we got the same pattern here on the little pedestal still on the floor. Whoa! I think a ghost just flew right through a window and smashed it. And there's a glaive seal right there. You know, when you think about it... Like, I'm not really knowledgeable when it comes... Oh, hello. When it comes to, like... Any type of like religious history because well any type of history for that matter honestly doesn't really interest me unless it's something that I'm interested in like technology or, or machinery or anything like that so what's the word I'm looking for so don't feel singled out or anything that's not the intention but it's kind of ironic how we are uh, we're a cleric that's using a rather kind of demonic looking cross to fire his ghosts to kill enemies. And a miniature version is called the Holy Relic, which I find oddly cute for some reason. I don't know, I just like it. I can remember one time on my it was on my own time. I used a G code. And it gave me all 3D items. And as soon as, like, um, this is for Beyond, I think it was for Beyond Hair Track. I don't think it was for this. But, um, anyway, I, um, I can remember I used the, um, I used the cheat code. And I gave myself, and I gave myself the three items. And when I used the, um, used the, um, the holy, holy relic. I used it again so I can get it back so I can carry it around with me. <laughs> oh, like I said, I love the thing, it's cool. There's the white one. Now, the first clock gear we got is this one here. Is gold on the outside and silver in the middle. Now, I'm not sure how well you guys can see this, but. You guys could probably see a clock gear over there. In fact, um, why don't we head over there? Well, I'm gonna show you guys. This one here is the white one. This one here, the one that we just got. Well, this one over here, which is the portal that we came in from. Or the first one, I should say. 
Oh wait. Is this one? That's the old silver one over there, so it's diagonal. So we first went into that one over there, and we came out to that one. Okay. But that's gonna do it for the bleh. That's gonna do it for this time, guys. So far, your goes to the like button if you guys enjoyed. Support us on Patreon and check out our Discord server description below. And we'll see you in the next one. Anyway, guys. Hopefully, for now, I want to remember to put sound into the videos. Sorry about that.